All right, so I'm going to talk about how you can change the size of the sunshade to match your phone dimensions. So first you open up the um, design in FreeCAD, a program which you can of course download for free off of uh, the internet. And there it is. So the next thing you want to do is open up, there's this little box here with a V. These are where all the parameters are. So if you double click on that, it shows all the parameters. And then we'll just close the start page here and go to window and say tile. And then you'll be able to see the parameters and the design at the same time. Um, I'm just using the mouse to move things around a bit. So I have the parameters broken up into two different sections. These are ones you're probably going to want to change. And these are ones that you might want to change, but um, I would be more hesitant to change them. So um, here's the parameter and a description of it. So here's your phone length from the top to the bottom. So these are all set up for a Pixel 3 uh, XL, I believe. And say you have a phone that instead of 160 is 100. So you just type in 100 and hit enter. And you can see it changes the dimensions. Um, you see this is floating here. Uh, just don't worry about it. It'll still connect in. I just didn't go through the effort of moving it. But you can see it actually changed that dimension there. Um, the width, so that's how wide your phone is. Say it's 60. So you can see it got a little bit shorter. Uh, your thickness, that's how thick your phone is. If you plan on keeping it in the case, keep that in mind. Um, let's say in this case it's 6. Okay. And then holder depth is um, this part here from there to there. Um, you might want to keep that as it is, but I'll just change it. So let's say we make it 40 instead. That'll make it deeper. So if you look right in here, you'll see it get deeper. Okay. And then the overlap is how much it overlaps into the phone. So that's the distance between here and here. I'll just change it to like 10 or something so you can see it change. Okay. The shade side border. Um, so that's how much into the phone you want the shade to be. Right now I have it 2 millimeters. Um, if you use too much, you might not be able to get to the buttons on the corners. If you use too little, then it might fall off the sides a bit. So let's just change it to 4 instead of 2, and you can watch this little margin there change. Okay. This is the shade height, how tall to make it. Right now it's 75. I might set it near the phone width of 60 in this case. So you can watch this thing drop down. Okay. Of course, the taller it is, the more protection you'll get from sun, but eventually um, it becomes a bit unwieldy to have it at tall. And then the thickness, um, how thick to make it. So 1.5 is probably what you want. I should probably move that down, but um, say you wanted to make it 2 or something, you can watch this get thicker. All right, so you make all those changes, and then when you're happy with your changes, you have to um, change each part. So what you want to do is open up these and click on the last thing and that highlights it and then you go up to file and you say export and you want to export it as a STL for some reason I don't see it, there it is and then maybe we call this um, you know bottom.stl or something Okay, and then you would do the same thing for the top shade. So we can just close these when we're done. Top shade here, click on the bottom thing. Hmm. There it is. Okay, when it's highlighted, you know that's what you're going to get when you export. Left shade, and then the final left. 
and when you're done exporting all that you can go ahead and do the print so here we have the um, sunshade printing away and it looks like there's about two and a half hours left on this print I probably could have went a little bit thinner with the shade but um, you know a range of different settings will work there so let's wait for it to finish and see how she turns out all right the first print is done um, and being a first print there's probably some things that could be improved but I don't see anything at this point that looks wrong it looks like it printed correctly and um, as far as I can tell the design will be okay um, yeah those little pegs will slot into those little holes there those little tabs up there which should help keep it straight that wraps around the front of the phone that goes to the back of the phone um, so I'll just let this cool down and we'll see how easy it is to put together and we'll see if everything is dimensioned correctly all right everything's all printed and kind of the short of it is um, if I were to reprint it I would make some small changes but I don't think that there's enough problems to warrant reprinting it and I think that it actually works pretty good as is so I'll give you a little demo of the unit so basically this is the GGI spark bag um, the idea is you would stick it right in this side pocket here so this is the unit fold it up and you can see that it just opens like that and like that those little things keep it in place and it's of course been custom fit for my phone which is a pixel 3 for your phone you change the numbers around to make it the appropriate dimensions and of course you could change the height if you wanted um, my particular one I found these a little bit tricky to insert so I just took a little file to the bottom there just took the smallest amount of material off and then they popped in um, I might I'll probably change the model and just make them a little shorter in the model and then I also made these a little bit too wide I kind of made them too wide on purpose because I didn't want to put stress on the phone um, but maybe I made them a little bit too too wide so I just compensated by putting a little zip tie on there but of course if I reprint it I would just print it a little bit narrower perhaps so there's that let's go ahead and get out the controller so this is the controller and we'll just open this up here so that we can get the phone in there and then we slide just making sure I got the buttons in the right spot slide the phone on the bottom stick that in there and back a little bit and then you can just kind of stick this on there it's fairly straightforward to do and that's it and then what I do is I just kind of push this like that and push it forward and then I use that to kind of hold things in place and there it is so we can go ahead and fire up the app here and that's your experience there so that should keep um, the sun from you know glaring the screen as much so that's how that works um, just quickly take it back apart so you gotta slide this back because basically these little things are holding it on um, so slide it back a little bit and then this will come right off and then you can just fold it back up so that pretty much wraps up the video um, if you would like to print one of these on your own feel free to follow the link in the YouTube video um, if you have any comments please feel free to leave them and if you like this video and would like me to make more like it um, please like and subscribe. And with that, have a good day. Goodbye.